Hey, Nerdgenic Nation, and welcome to History Of. I'm your host and resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and this is a series where we do a deep dive into various comic book characters, both heroes and villains, and get a little bit more insight as to who they are and why they do what they do. And in today's episode, we're talking about a character that just got his very first subtle debut on the Disney Plus series, Hawkeye, which we do do a live stream watch party for every single Wednesday, hosted by yours truly at 9 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on that. But the character we're talking about is Kate Bishop's soon-to-be stepdad, Jack Duquesne, also known as the Swordsman. Swordsman was created by Stan Lee and Don Heck and first appeared in The Avengers number 19 in 1965. Originally named Jacques Duquesne in the comics, the character grew up very privileged in a French-ruled nation of Siang Kong. Now Jacques didn't have the same prejudice against the natives as many European residents did, including his father, and was even invited to join the rebellion against the French rule by a native servant he helped. Once Jacques took up the moniker of Swordsman, he considered himself more of a swashbuckling freedom fighter to help liberate Siang Kong, though his father would be killed by the rebel leader. This of course shook Jacques and caused him to flee Sia Kong, stumble through the world, join various carnival attractions, and take up various addictions such as gambling and drinking. Eventually though, he would take in a runaway by the name of Clint Barton and teach him how to use bladed weapons while another performer named Trickshot would teach him archery. Clint would discover Jacques stealing money from the carnival to pay off his debts, but Jacques would catch Clint and beat him before he could tell anyone. Then Trickshot stepped up before he kills Clint, causing Jacques to flee once again and become a costume supervillain. Years later, he would attempt to join the Avengers, but would be refused acceptance because of one member, which was his former protege, Clint Barton, as Hawkeye. Well, that and he did threaten to kill Captain America and was kind of wanted in a couple states at the time. He would eventually, however, be able to join the Avengers, though he was actually working for the Mandarin, who gave him a modified sword and created a fake Iron Man to recommend Swordsman into the Avengers. It wouldn't be long after this that his true intentions would be revealed and he would betray the Mandarin to save the Avengers from bombs that he had planted previously. After this, he would go back to being a supervillain for hire and battle the Avengers on several occasions, specifically against Captain America for some reason, but he would briefly become an agent of Red Skull, rejoin the Mandarin's attempt at world domination with other villains, join Batroc's brigade, and even join the Lethal Legion. But it wouldn't be until he met Mantis and secretly fell in love with her that he would rejoin the Avengers and participate in the Avengers Defenders War. He would also help the Avengers against Kang, but he wouldn't be captured by him as Kang deemed him to be worthless. Feeling humiliated, Swordsman would track down Kang with the help of Hawkeye, free the Avengers, and end up sacrificing himself by taking the energy blast that was meant for Mantis. And as we like to say on this series, because it does happen in just about every single episode, in typical comic fashion, he doesn't stay dead for long. He would be resurrected and possessed by an alien race known as the Kotati, who would go on to marry Mantis and would even have a son. He too would die fighting the Avengers, but as is the motto of this show, say it with me, as is in comics, he doesn't stay dead for long. He would return during the Chaos War storyline to defend the Underworld with some dead Avengers and help protect those that were unconscious. And in the Empire arc, his body would still be in use by the Kotati during the Skull Kree War and be used as part of the initiative to exterminate all meat-based life, aka humanity, and he would be confronted by Black Panther and Wakanda and finally be killed for good. Though, let's be honest, he's likely to return. Swordsman, though he has not yet been named so as of the recording of this video, appears in the Marvel Disney Plus series Hawkeye under the name of Jack Duquesne and is played by Tony Dalton. Now it might not come as a huge surprise, but Swordsman doesn't really have any powers. But he is an Olympic level athlete, cunning strategist with impeccable reflexes in both armed and unarmed combat, and he's obviously a master of bladed weapons. But his main weapon is a sword that was modified by the Mandarin that contained buttons on the hilt to allow him to project a concussive force, a disintegrate ray, flamethrower, release nerve gas, and various other modifications. So those are some of the main things you need to know about Swordsman. Did you learn anything in this video you may not have known otherwise? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, leave me a comment as to any other characters you would like to see on this series. Your suggestion might become next week's video. And also while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss on any future content from me or the rest of the Nerdgenic team. And for even more awesome content, check out these videos on screen, like my Hawkeye Watch Party live streams that you can check out every single Wednesday at 9 p.m. Make sure you join me. It's so much fun. Or check out this video right here where we review the part two of Master of the Universe Revelations. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it and we hope to see you in the next video.